everyone. Praise the Lord. Very good morning. I'm happy that God has uh, helped us to meet together uh, in this new week. May the name of the Lord alone be glorified. I hope you worship God yesterday going to your church. And uh, I urge you, if you are not going to your church, go to your church. Worshipping God through online service will not be uh, counted as worship in a way to say that Bible asks us to go to church and to pray and uh, have fellowship in the church even in the old testament uh, god told them to go to church even in the new testament paul encourages us to go to church uh, the reason we had online services was to uh, help us to worship god when the churches were closed because of the order of the government so even those times we we were somehow uh, the men of god they managed to find a way to encourage you to help you to worship god to lead you into the time of worship now the churches are open so do not do not do not sit in your home and worship god through those online services god will not be happy about this god wants you to go to his church so go to your church your church, is, your church may have 10 services, 5 services, no matter. Go to any service out of those 5 or 10. But remaining time you can worship God through the online service. But at least once, at least one service, go to your church and worship God over there. That is what God wants us to do. That is what makes God to happy. So do not uh, encourage yourself or do not, do not get used to sitting in your house and worshiping god that we know that how it happens so do not do not do not uh, get used to it that 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 is the way of satan to deceive us so keep that in your mind go to your church and worship god today's meditation is from the book of acts chapter 6 verse 6 they presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them now uh, uh, as we may as you have been meditated uh, meditating the uh, serving food is the problem over there so apostle said let's choose seven men out of us who are filled with the holy spirit who, are, who have wisdom and who are committed so let's let's choose those seven and they will be serving uh, god through serving food so they were chosen and they were brought to the apostles before they went to their job and guess what is happening the apostles laid their hands on them and they prayed that is a very important thing we need to notice whatever we do in our life that should begin with prayer whatever you do in your life let it begin with your prayer if you if you may be going to your college or school whatever maybe go to your pastor and tell them pastor i'm going to my college pray for me i'm going to job pray for me so meet your pastor go to your church meet your pastor tell him to lay his hand on you and pray when something is uh, began with prayer it will end up in success so that is why our pastors prayed for them even to serve food even to distribute food to the widows so my dear brothers and sisters i want to urge you so whenever you go to any Whenever you take a next step or whenever you take any step in your life, remember, meet your pastor or call up your pastor. Pastor, uh, this is what is going to happen. So I want you to pray for me. So your pastor is that. That is why he is your pastor. Um, don't think that he will be busy. Uh, how can I disturb him? Will I, if I call, will he be disturbed? No. He is a pastor just to take care of you, just to feed you in a spiritual way and also to take care of you. So whatever you do, just call him up and tell him, Pastor, I'm going to do this. Pray for me. Or if possible, 99% uh, take all the efforts to meet him personally. Uh, go to him and ask him, Pastor, I'm going to take this step. So kindly pray for me. Maybe uh, marriage or uh, the job, studies in your family problems whatever it may be the very next step you take in your life every step ask your pastor to pray for you and that will end up in success god bless you